Hi, this is Yolanda Van Veen, and in this segment, we're going to learn all about how to sow seeds indoors. Now, you can sow seeds indoors for many, many reasons. Maybe you live in a colder climate and you want a lot of flowers that are from warmer climates to grow in your garden, and you don't have a long enough season. By starting them inside, they'll do really well, and then they'll start growing, and that they'll bloom that next summer. So it's really easy to grow them indoors. There's lots of different methods that you can use when you start your seeds. And whether you use the little tray or the seed trays, you just put a little bit of soil in it and you can get any kind of a seed starter mix too that has a lot more earthy and airy soil in it. And a lot of times it has vermiculite in it. And put, I just use compost. And just put some compost in there and put a little bit of seeds in there, just barely covered. Keep them moist, but not sitting in water, and eventually your seeds will start real quickly. And another easiest way that I found to start seeds is to put the seeds in a napkin in a plastic bag. So you just put the seeds in a napkin, get it wet, and then put it in the plastic bag and keep it moist, but not just so it's all water. You want it to keep just wet, but not so that it's just a bag of water. And then check on it every couple days and you'll find that the plants will start to sprout. And at that time you can either put them in the seed trays or put them right out into your garden. And it's a really easy way to start them indoors. And right now a big trend is starting plants indoors but using mini greenhouses in effect. And they're called winter sowing. And you can put these actually outside too or put them inside. And you just cut it open about halfway, fill it with dirt. Put some seeds in there and open it up so it can get some air and even outside the rain can come in and then the plants have like a little mini greenhouse and they'll start sprouting right inside the container and because you've cut it halfway and then taped it back up, you can just untape it and take the plants out and put them all over your garden wherever you want the plants. It works great with different types of um, milk jugs too you just cut them halfway open it up maybe add some more air holes too if it doesn't if it seems like it's getting too much heat and the key that it's working is there's condensation if there's any condensation then you know it's working so there's many different ways that you can start your seeds indoors and it's worth the effort and it can be very successful